This is a door jam I have to repair. As you can see, it's all rotted. It looks like it's falling apart. Look what happens when I touch it. Boom, it just comes right out. There's a gaping hole in there. A lot of the wood got rotted out. So my job here is to replace it or repair it. So the client wanted to go with repair that section to save a couple bucks. So first thing you do, remove the weather stripping. You grab a good hold of it and just pull right up and it comes right out. Then you check for hardness. Once you find a hard spot, you go ahead and mark it and then you could go ahead and proceed with cutting it. Now you can use a multi-tool for cutting it. That's the best route to go, I, I would say. And you just cut that line. You're gonna be a, a little bit above where you found it being hard. Cut right behind that trim if you're not gonna replace it. If you're gonna replace it, you don't have to do this part, but I wasn't gonna touch it. I decided just to cut right behind it so I didn't damage anything by pulling it off. Now, as you can see, one section came off. The other section is still kind of stuck. So I went back over it with the tool just to make sure all the wood was cut and away i go behind just to make sure there's nothing holding it back then i go ahead and use a pry bar to pry it away from the wall now you got a bunch of rotted wood you go ahead and chip away at that try to clean the best you can uh, and you chip away until you find that it's hard now in this circumstance i went ahead and cut that section so as you can see this is the best I could get it cleaned up but I decided I'm just gonna cut it so I cut it off and then my goal was to install some pressure treated 2x4 so make sure you get pressure treated and you install that pressure treated 2x4 you go ahead and seal the area pretty good I went ahead and used liquid nails in that section and let it dry as you can see also now I have a section of door jam that I purchased. You purchase a stick of it and then you would just cut it to the size you need. There's a bunch of big gaps there. The most important thing you want to do, be sure when you install this, this section of door jam that it's going to line up when you put the weather stripping. That lines up, that's fine. Everything else doesn't have to line up. You'll just have to sand it down or work with it. Fill all the gaps with Bondo. If you have any other dips or holes, you would you could use a filler or a spackle. I'm using sandpaper. It's a 220 to knock it down. But you'll also see that there's white powder and some white stuff. That's not the Bondo. That's actually spackle. And you could use a spackle to fill any small divots or small holes to help smooth everything out. Once you use a spackle, you might want to go back over it again in some areas to fill in the holes. Uh, then you could go ahead and use caulk, but make sure you sand everything before you start caulking, uh, just so you don't contaminate the caulk. But that's basically it right there. I could go ahead and use more filler in some areas I believe I did prior to painting it. As you can see, that's basically ready to paint. You're gonna see some areas that are gonna have caulk a little later. The wood has no more primer, so be sure you go ahead and add primer prior to painting. Everything's painted and I have the weather strip installed and everything's good to go. We're all done. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe.